everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuned in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. We are in Prescott Valley with Cole at the Donald Trump rally today. Cole, tell me what this is about. You were battered, bloodied? Yeah. Explain. Uh, I was robbed of my MAGA hat, and then they, just a sucker punch, I wasn't even looking. There was 10, 15 of them to look at, so this blow just came right to my face, knocked me on the ground instantly. There was just this sharp metallic thud. I think the guy had a ring on, whatever. It sliced me open right there. Okay. This warm sensation just covered my face and blood was just flowing. How many stitches? Six stitches. Okay. And I was on the ground, they started kicking me. I knew, man, I had a couple seconds to pop up and, and try to run out of there or else, you know, they were gonna stomp me to death. I mean, I was scared, man. It's 9 p.m. at night and they were attacking me like they were just- Because you're pro-Trump. Because I had a red Trump hat on, because okay. I'm pro-Trump. Now, who were these people? Were they Hillary supporters? Were they just anti-Trump? Like, you know? I don't know if they care about Hillary so much as it, it seemed like they're worried about their welfare because they're yelling brown pride. They're yelling, I'm in the wrong city. This is a predominantly Hispanic area of Orange County, California, okay. Costa Mesa, Santa Ana, Anaheim. Near Disneyland. So, that what they're yelling at me, screaming in Spanish and everything, it, it suggests to me that uh, they're not really Hillary supporters as so much as they're there because they're they're angry and they're desperate. I mean, we're threatening to take money out of their pocket, most of their pockets. Why do you think it's so dangerous to be a Trump supporter nowadays? I mean, it's almost like the new black. And nobody's talking about this shit. You don't get it from the mainstream media right. at all. And you've got these social justice warriors out there that I think are more violent. I mean, I, yeah. I go to the Trump rallies, everybody's peace, reverse and, then I, and then I hear stories about people like you getting you know, beat up for wearing a hat. Uh, it's so dangerous nowadays, because I think over the past 10 to 20 years, our culture has been indoctrinating and brainwashing this political correctness where it's just not okay anymore to have an opinion. Kurt Schilling gets fired from ESPN, Manny Pacquiao gets knocked off by, by Nike, Don Imus, all these radio hosts that cook on our cooking show, all of them getting fired from their livelihoods for having an opinion. And so uh, Trump represents having an opinion, represents anti-PC. And so these social warriors you're talking about and so forth, they're, they just seem to be seething from the mouth and their eyes go red when they see a, a red Make America Great Again hat because Trump represents being able to have an opinion, speak your mind, and, and, and being uh, anti-political correctness. Yeah, which is almost making, well, it's made Trump more popular, it's making all these other people more popular as well. You know, people are fed up with it, right? Hillary Clinton said, what, 50, you know, 50% of the country is deplorable? Yeah. If, they're, if you're pro-Trump? Yeah. She well, see, so 50% of the country just doesn't agree with her, so we're all, we're all deplorable. So all Trump supporters are de a basket of deplorables. All Bernie Sanders supporters are the basement dwellers. That just came out. Uh, she called African Americans the uh, super predators, right? And her husband, and she probably had some influence with it, put African Americans in jail with all those crack laws, right? Because the uh, minorities buy crack cocaine, not powder cocaine. So put put them, uh, just they over flooded the prisons with 10, 20 year mandatory minimum sentences thanks to Bill Clinton. So it's like, what has she done for minorities? Mm -hmm. what, it, what, what, she, do you, the insults she has said against women mm -hmm. from that 10 year old little girl, 12 year old little girl when she was 27, to all the names she called Bill Clinton's. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mistresses. Well, not to mention the 16 or so women that have accused Bill of sexual assault, yeah. rape, Juanita Broderick, yeah. very fan. I mean, tears yeah. over this stuff. How, yeah. how can she be a she feminist said, and pro woman she when said, she, de she defends her husband, you know, and attacks these women when she says all these, vic you know, any victim of sexual assault should be believed? Right? So I'm frustrated because I don't, I'm screaming at my TV when, when Hillary brought up Miss Universe. Trump could have laid out a list of things like you removed from your website that all sexual assault victims should be believed. She had that removed from her website because she knew she's a hypocrite and taken 300 million from Saudi Arabia and other countries that rape and murder women. It's like you, uh, you're not a champion for women at all. No. It's, it's sickening. Yeah, now, did you hear about the story, uh, Danny Williams? Have you heard about this? Allegedly, Bill Clinton has a son named Danny Williams, who's black, uh -huh. uh, and he does this video on Fit. You haven't heard of this Is yet? that a bombshell with you? That, that's a bombshell that just kind of came out. Maybe I this is developed. I haven't heard that name. 
and I, it's not being on. It's not on CNN or MSNBC or Fox News or something. No. Media. And I'll bounce around all three of those all day, six hours a day. I like to hear MSNBC's criticism of Trump more than I like to listen to Fox News' sugarcoating of Trump. I actually prefer listening to this uh, MSNBC. Yeah. Now explain to us yeah. all this here. Run, run through the list here. I mean, these are my pictures. This, this is you. This is me. Bloodied and battered. Got six stitches. In California, six stitches. And that's me on the cover of the New York Post, which I presented that to Trump. I had a big banner when I met him a month later, and he said, I saw that, you're a tough cookie, held out his hand, and he didn't give me a half-ass shake. He gave me a really firm man shake, and I really felt special. Like, you know, he really does uh, appreciate, yeah. you know, the support and the work I do. So that happened. And then San Jose happened, where a whole slew, literally like 14 victims happened. They're suing the city and the mayor now mm -hmm. for not protecting them. This is Juan Hernandez. They broke his nose. And so I got in touch with him, and I got in touch with Rachel Casey. She, she's the egg in the face girl. Yeah, and so I got in touch with all of them. I said, hey, I'm forming assault victims for Trump. I got pictures now with Juan Hernandez. We met up in Vegas. You know, they got nine to five jobs, so they can't represent weekday rallies, but I can. I got a news website, and so I could be here on weekday rallies. So for the most part, I'm the one that, that is representing uh, the assault victims for Trump. Just to let protesters know you're not intimidating us, keep on attacking. I will go in their faces at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. when this lets out. And I'll let them know that, hey, you want to attack me again, go ahead. I'm still going to go to rallies. I'm still voting for Trump on November 8th. And uh, it's also to let, there's Trump supporters that are in fear because of what these criminal thugs are doing. And it's like, you can't yeah, let yeah, them exactly. win. You can't, you, you have to go, you have to show support for Trump. The bigger the crowds are, that creates momentum, creates a buzz, and of course you got to vote for number eight. What would you like to see from Donald Trump today? Uh, we might have the opportunity to ask him a question or two. What would, what would you like to hear from him? Is there any, you know, Yeah, I mean, questions? I do hope he goes off the teleprompter, at least like he did for 20 minutes in Pennsylvania on the weekend. I, I don't want him to stick to the teleprompter. You know, what's got him here and what has got the uh, love of the country is his raw, uncensored, off the cusp speaking. So I want to hear, hear some of that. Uh, specifically, maybe he'll talk about Pence tonight, the, the, the vice presidential debate. From Pence is going to look good for Trump tonight. Um, other than that, nothing, I don't know one specific, specific thing that I would like him to to totally discredit Miss Universe once and for all. Not a tweet about a, a porn star reference, no. She was a getaway driver <laughs> to a murder. She threatened the Venezuelan judge. She is the fat shamer. She played a 600 pound fat person wearing a fat suit, and yet she yeah. says she was traumatized by Trump fat shaming her? How's that possible, right? Why don't you articulate those exact things? And she's, I'm sick that a porn Foreigner is influencing our elections and has made Trump's poll numbers, if they're to be believed, go down 5% over the last week. It's sickening to me. Yeah. She has fake citizenship. Hillary Clinton pulled strings and got her that, right? Or else, what is wrong with our citizenship process? How do you let someone with a rap sheet like that into the country? So, I would like him to discredit her once and for all in an articulate manner. That is, you know, one thing. Yeah, he needs to go off script. That's, you know, my opinion has been he's been kind of overmanaged, especially the yeah. last debate. It's like, let Trump be Trump. They let him be nice. Right, he's trying to be too presidential. He needs to attack Hillary Clinton on, you know, her foundation, for example, money laundering scam. Again, accepting all this money from countries like Saudi Arabia and these kinds of things. Do you, do you um, think Trump lost the debate? I think the mainstream media won. I think Lester Holt framed every single question to put Donald Trump on the defensive, you yeah. know, from sexism to racism yeah. to birtherism. Went down the list of controversies. You know, it's rigged. You know, I ask, hey, why Why does Trump even agree to doing that format? Yeah. How about a new format? How about guys like you asking questions, yeah. right? So, um, yeah, I like that. Well, fantastic. How can our audience find you? Newsball.com. You could text 858-333-8888 if you are and a victim of one of these protests. There's so many out there. I heard of these protesters. They were they were macing, pepper spraying this like three-year-old girl that was at, at something with her mom for Trump, a little Trump gathering in Anaheim months ago. So there's so many out there. there there's so there's tens of thousands of of violent protesters, and there's like there's like five to ten bad Trump supporters that, that were sure. the violent ones, and yet the narrative all year was that the Trump supporters are violent. So yeah, Mainstream media is going to spell. You heard it here first, folks, on AMTV. We're here with Cole, assault victims for Trump. A lot of people, a lot of people assaulted.
you know, yeah, these guys chasing him and this guy, this old guy is just blindsided and attacked and knocked down. Uh, I wasn't able to identify who, this guy's a minor. His father came on the record and did some interviews. But I wasn't able to get in touch with him or him. This guy got knocked upside the head on bled from his ear. But, uh, I was the first major attack and then after seeing San Jose, I said, oh man, all right. Yeah. I'm going to let them know they, they did not win, they did not intimidate anything. Great. Thank you, Cole. Appreciate thank it, man. Thank, yeah. thank you for what you're doing. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for right. being here, man. Spreading the message and letting us have a platform to talk. Big red shirt. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I will. I'll put my phone. I got news rolling. It's a little vlog right now. I Okay, I'll meet you.